to our final video review session with Molly at No Bones About It Puppy Day School. I can't believe she is finishing with us. So the crazy thing is when I think about where she started with us, um, she, you know, regardless of, of the progress we've made on the training front, which we have, the socialization factor is the thing we were we were really concerned about and she has just come into her own and it's so cool to see her with new dogs and in new places and um, I'm super proud of, of the progress she's made. That being said, uh, let's talk about kind of what needs to happen moving forward. Um, I always tell people, you really need to think about doing some kind of ongoing training all the way through adolescence, which could be up to a year and a half. Um, does that mean you have to be have a trainer? Does it mean you have to be doing something every single day? No. But what will happen is... Um, you will find that if you go, oh my gosh, I just love where this puppy is right now, everything's great, um, and you stop doing stuff, in six weeks or two months from now, you're, you're gonna be emailing me the email that I got yesterday from a client that basically just said, oh my gosh, my dog won't do anything that you taught her anymore. So we had a review consult and the review consult definitely determined that um, there had been no zero, zero consistency of, of um, in their daily routine. There had been no continuation of um, just getting repetitions in, of the skills that your dog already knows. That is gonna be so important. If you could really be uh, proactive about making sure that every single time you guys interact, you go out for a walk, you um, feed your puppy breakfast, you do something that you do five or ten repetitions, which literally would take you less than 60 seconds, um, you will keep up with their skills and their responsiveness to you. If you just stop doing that all together, this is the way I equate it. Um, if you went to a job and every day you were getting paid for it and uh, you loved your job, but you all of a sudden stopped getting paid for it, eventually I guarantee you'd stop showing up for work. Um, and that's really what happens. It's all about, if you recall, I did a video um, a couple weeks back about um, transfer of value and ha making sure that you understand the process of reward history, which means that the dog is going to work for people that reward it for working. So stick with that game plan. If that means to motivate yourself every other month, maybe every three months, you need to do a refresher group class. I feel like that's a fantastic idea. It's sort of like, you know, having to be held accountable for stuff. Um, you know, or I, I just, I think that's something that just as human nature, we tend to get busy and stop following up on things. So I think that's just something to keep in mind as you move forward. Um, so let's really quickly review all of the skills that Molly has learned, okay? So again, we're gonna start off with simply um, working on name game, Molly, yes! And we love that head turn. Again, when we're working from day one, we're always keeping our treats hidden behind our back. Molly, yes, good girl, good girl. So we got a name game and then touch, touch working towards multiple touch multiple behaviors for one treat as the dog improves molly down this one we've always struggled with a little bit without any kind of molly touch touch on your bed yeah there we go so we love that Lie, get to your bed and lie down. That's a great skill. So we've got name game. We've got um, our hand targeting. Touch. Touch. And go to your bed. 
We've got a place cue, which means go to your place and lie down. Yay for you. Okay, and then we're working into, Molly, come! Yes, we're working into our recall. Molly, come! Yes, good girl. Molly, come! <gasps> Very good. Then I'm gonna move this out of the way. Boop. And then we're working on um, our leash manners. We start with our reward zone where the dog is walking at my side. Let's go, come on. And I practice this a lot, again, without a leash. Very good. We love that puppy at my side, giving me that great attention. That's so cool. I'm gonna lure her back to my side and she should sit. Oh, who is so brilliant? Hooray! Very nice. Oh, this is such a good baby. That's such a good baby. Um, now, again, there's other things that, you know, we've worked on introducing, leave it, uh, things like that. But in general, she has come such a long way with all of her foundation skills. Um, feel free to reach out. We can schedule an in-home review session at some time within the next uh, month to six weeks. And... Um, go over any questions or concerns that you have. And uh, other than that, I am super excited about her progress and we will miss her. Yes. Bye. She gave me a kiss. She gave me a kiss. It was 